Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Chit Chat with the Queens. We have some amazing queens ready to talk to you today. But first, we actually have a special announcement. First time ever, we have a private Facebook group that you can subscribe to so that you can see the queens in their interview live. So on interview day, you ladies ready? On interview day, our fans that subscribe, I believe it's two ninety nine dollars that's a little under $10, so about $8. You can subscribe to the private Facebook group and you'll be able to see all of the queens doing their live interviews. So this is first time ever. and We're very excited to share it with you. So that's going to be at 10 a.m. on October 17th. Now we'll give the ladies a chance to introduce themselves and tell you a little bit about each one. Hello everyone, I'm Teresa Sara, Miss Grand Angola 2022. Uh, I'm, fr I'm from Angola, um, I'm a philanthropist and I have my own business, I'm an entrepreneur too, I'm also a social volunteer. So I have my own brand clothes and shoes too, and on my free time, um, I like to I like to help people. Like I do charity things. Not only in free time, it's also like my job because I'm a, a philanthropist. Um, my my experience in Bali in, in Indonesia in Bali has been very uh, very good. The Indonesian people they are so good. They receive us so well. All of us and they support not only the Indonesian queen. They also support the other queens. So that's been amazing. And thank you to Indonesian people. Please continue supporting us. And we are, I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Kim Kelly Brown, Miss Grand Germany 2022. I'm living in Germany, but I grew up in Germany and in Thailand. So that's the reason um, that I, why I can speak Thai and German. And yeah, I'm happy to be here with the Thai team, Indonesian team, so we can talk a little bit in our main language. And um, I enjoy here really the experience in Bali. And I'm looking forward to Jakarta tomorrow. Hi, everyone. My name is Infa Walaha. I'm Miss Grand Thailand 2022. You can call me Fa. And I live in um, Bangkok in Thailand. Um, before me go to the Miss Grand Thailand, um, uh, we do actress, model, singer. And I'd like to build a queen and now I can do it. Hope you guys cheer me up and encourage me for the Miss Grand International 2022. And now I'm so happy to be here and so excited. And I think now, really, um, Missing here so much because tomorrow we go to Jakarta. Uh, hope you guys um, following Beauty Queen um, Miss Grand International 2022 next time. I think enjoy and happy and wait for the final Miss Grand International. Thank you. Hi, my name is Marit Bates and I am Miss Grand, Miss Grand Netherlands. Uh, a fun fact about me is that I was crowned as the 10th national queen for Miss Grand International 10th anniversary. And I'm also the 10th Miss Grand Netherlands in history. So I hope that's a sign. Uh, a little more about myself. Uh, currently I'm studying the human resource management and I'm working as a sourcing consultant. Uh, in the future, I would like to have my own HR business where I can match people to companies and uh, solving problems for the HR in uh, companies as well. And I hope I have a crown on my nightstand from Miss Grant International to look back to. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Sophia Mayers here, Miss Grand United Kingdom. Wow, I'm so excited to be here in Bali. I'm having such an incredible time. I'm actually from the Garden of England. So just off the coast from London, I actually live by the beach. So I'm feeling very much at home here in Bali. However, I do not have the, I do not be, I'm not blessed with the weather. <laughs> I'm really not blessed with the weather. It has actually been raining a little bit here in Bali. So I take full blame for that. So I've 
brought the horrible UK weather with me. Um, however, in my spare time, I am a charity ambassador. I do an awful lot of work with my father's um, charity, which is Headway, which they support um, people that have sustained a brain injury and they provide support and rehabilitation for the clients. I also, as well, I'm an animal activist. I spend lots of my time doing lots of charity work, as well as being an ambassador for Miss Grand United Kingdom. So I'm very excited to be here today and to speak to everyone as well. Thank you. Oh, hello everyone. I'm Miss Korea. To, uh, I'm Miss Korea. Oh, well, um, I'm here is, I think it's miracle because, um, my major is applied physics. I graduated, uh, one year ago. I'm seeking for a job, but, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, but, uh, actually, uh, in Korea, Kin, uh, actually, in Korea, Kin is, oh my god, yeah, sorry, I'm very nervous. <laughs> yeah, 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 um, my, um, Korea, Kin couldn't came out. Oh, uh, big, uh, so I came here as a next runner, so I'm, uh, I think it is very a uh, miracle, and so, so uh, I, I uh, preparation time is uh, not enough. So uh, please understand <laughs> uh, this. Um, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, so I um, a month ago I I working part-time job because I'm very sorry my parents <laughs> so uh, I'm here is very happy and I I will do my best on uh, everything this great in international competition is best all over the world thank you thank you <laughs> Hello, my loves. My name is Oksana Rivera, and I am Miss Grand Puerto Rico. I am originally from Russia, but at a very young age, I was taking away with my twin brother to an orphanage where I lived until I was 13 years old. But I was very lucky to be adopted by um, an amazing family in Puerto Rico, and they gave me a new home, a new opportunity at life, uh, a lot of love, a lot of education. So I'm very, very blessed where I am right now, and I graduated from Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. I studied advertising and marketing communications, after which I had the opportunity to work for two years as a marketing manager. And then I am now representing my island, Puerto Rico, in this amazing journey, in this amazing pageant. And I'm super, super happy to be here. And Bali is amazing. And it's exactly the same as in Puerto Rico, the weather, the beaches, and the people are so welcoming. It's so I feel at home, and that's the most special and amazing opportunity for me. <laughs> uh, hi, Nigeria. Okay, so now we have one girl left from N Nigeria. So please have a short introduction about her, yourself. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, good evening. My name is Damlola Bolamidi. Um, I am 25, 26 years old, <laughs> born and bred in Lagos State. I am an entrepreneur and I work as a professional commercial and international fashion model. Um, I am also an actor and also I am also an actor and I am a fitness and um, um, fashion um, illustrator. Um, aside that, I am presently working towards studying and having a degree in fashion at Instable Bugi University. And that is what I am into outside um, modeling. And um, apart from that, um, I describe myself as an energetic person, determined person, goal-oriented person, and I also a spokesperson for change and I believe that one could never know the true power the build within them until they start to begin until they start to believe that they do and this is one um, thing that I have owed on to and that has kept me to where I am today so thank you <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Thank you all for your sharing. And right now, we know that this is uh, our last day in Bali. We have been spending our time in Bali like more than a week. And this is my first time in Bali also. And I love the weather here, the people, the food here. And can you guys tell me like what is your favorite thing from Bali so far? Yes, thank you for that question. My favorite thing from Bali is their people. The people are so nice. They're so sweet. They're so detail oriented. We had an excellent service. And I feel like it's all about the experiences that we have in a specific place. I mean, the everything is beautiful. Every place that we visited is incredible. But the people is what makes it spe special. Um, I think in Bali, uh, the, the food is very delicious <laughs> and uh, today I I went to the museum it is very beautiful place and I learned to um, traditional music um, it is very inspired to me thank you <laughs> I would definitely have to say that it would be the culture. In the United Kingdom, we are not fortunate enough to have beautiful clothing as such as like national costumes such as this. And they're so beautiful. And I'm really fascinated about learning about all the different aspects of the Balinese and the Indonesian culture. And I'm, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And definitely, as soon as I return to the UK, I will actually be wearing the lacy top as well. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I will be incorporating it into my wardrobe. So I'm particularly fascinated by this. So, yes, stay tuned to see more fashion <laughs> more about my wardrobe. I will. I will. <laughs> so you're bringing it across will, the border. I yeah, I will bring a bit of Bali back to the UK. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, that's why I'm wearing this, uh, this outfit right now, because uh, I'm wearing the traditional Balinese costume. It's called a kabaya if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, I was so inspired this morning that it was laying on our bed and I was like, okay, now we can taste the real culture of Bali. So uh, for me, the most thing I loved is the culture of Bali. And indeed what my other queens were saying was like uh, the culture, the people, they're so welcoming and so warming and um, service is on top and they want to make us uh, like home. And I can tell me... I, Sorry, I can tell it from the bottom of my heart that it is worked. They helped us. They made us feel like home. And I'm so thankful for the people here. Uh, thank you for this experience here in Bali. And we're moving to Jakarta right now. <laughs> okay. For me, I love everything in Bali. Uh, food and people guy, friendly, so cute and welcome, uh, warm welcome. And costume Bali design so beautiful so much. And I think finish the uh, competition MGI. I think we come back for uh, for travel again. Uh, everything in Bali is so perfect for me. Thank you so much. Well, I really love the traditional Balinese dance that we also have launched today. We have the opportunity to learn the um, dance at the museum that we have visited at the location. It was really beautiful. And um, the special thing um, at the Balinese traditional dance is that they also dance with their eyes. So not only the body, they also turn their eyes, the fingers like this, the head like this, and the eyes left, straight, left, straight. <laughs> I really love it. <laughs> I mean, like, um, you've all said it. I love everything about Bali. I love the culture. I love the people. They are so welcoming. Oh my God. It gets me so emotional when I meet a Balinese person and the way they are so joyful around you. It's amazing. And, um, I also love the the highland. I'm I'm very, I'm very happy because I'm in a nature person. I'm very happy that we are literally on the beach spending time you know the nature the breeze apart from the hot weather i mean it's so i thought nigeria was the hottest but now that i'm here i know that bali is very hot and it's amazing i love everything about it and i cannot wait to come back you know and experience everything 100 percent and it's so sad that we are going to Jakarta, but who knows what Jakarta is going to bring for us as well. I can't wait to experience that as well. Well, definitely is the people, because 
for a place to be amazing, that depends also too much on the people, not only what they have on the construction, but also the people. The Balinese people, they are very respectful. They respect all the people and they are tolerant too. That is the most important. It seems like we must learn too much with the Balinese people. Uh, they, they don't only respect and cheer for the queens here, they also, I will say again, they also respect and cheer for other queens. And I feel so welcome here. Yeah. And thank you so much to Bali people. So continue that energy. And actually, you are teaching us a lot. You are teaching us to respect other people, no matter where you're from, who you are, and what is your nationality or your culture. They embrace all the people. I think so that is the message, the balanced people, they are treating us. And because um, a Miss Grant, they so share and they promote the peace and yeah. tolerance. So I think they choose the right place for we come here, for we learn more about peace, tolerance, and respect. So thank you so much, Balinese people. That is the thing that amazes me more. I will say the, I could say the food, the nice place, but for this place to be more nice, that depends too much on the people they have there, the society they have there. If you have a nice place, but you don't have nice people, welcome people, that place will be ugly because the people, they will not go there. In my, me definitely will come back because the people, they are very respectful. So I will come back definitely. It's not only for the beautiful city they have, but because of the people. So thank you so much, Valinous people, for you cheating us, not cheating, not only cheating, you reminding us for more respect, love, and tolerance. Thank you. And it's actually been such a great time. Uh, I have to say that out of the nine years that I've been with Miss Grand International, this group has been so united. So I want to say thank you to you guys. You've just been amazing. We were at rehearsals today and the energy was incredible. One of the very few years where the girls really are cheering each other on. And I think the spirit is really showing through of what Miss Grand International is really about, which is that unity and the respect towards each other. And it's so amazing amazing to see you, our fans, supporting them. And it's so important because it helps lift them up where they need to be. So with that said, I just want to do a small reminder for those that are just joining us. For the first time ever, you'll be able to see the queens in their interview live. We have pinned the group information in the live below so that you can sign up to the private Facebook group. It's 299 baht. That's a little under $10, 10 US dollars so that you can actually cheer your favorite queen and you can see the behind the scenes. So this is first time ever. And usually we all know that in pageantry, the interview is the biggest secret, right? So now you get to see what's going on behind the scenes. So with that said, ladies, we just want to lighten up the mood a little bit. If you have a secret talent or something you're really good at, feel free to share. Feel free to share. Well... In my case, um, I grew up in very poor condition. Uh, my family, we are, we were, we are, we was poor and we continue poor. But we are, but today I work and I have my own business. So I didn't have so much care of my brother, of my time for. That's a for talent, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't have a time for for do other things like an ordinary kid should do. I didn't have, but I know. I have, I have a strength for doing business, so that is my talent. I'm, I have, I, I'm very ability doing my business and entrepreneurship, so I have that stick on my, on my body. So I will say that is my talent doing business. So if you give me your, <laughs> any business, you tell me, you call me, and I will tell you what to do. Actually, I do a market start, um, Business market study. If you have like, if you want to do a business, you just tell me like, you come to raise. I want that business, and I will start that market, and I will tell you if it's good or not, and how you should do it. So I think that is my talent. Nice. For me, uh, my talents are dancing, uh, 
than saying I am a very creative person. I love recreating things. You can sometimes I I surprise myself of what I can do actually. Just um, I love I love to learn new things and recreate new things. And apart from dancing and recreating things, I am also a fashion stylist. <laughs> I am also a fashion stylist and. Uh, to be honest, I think I have so many things, but I can't even mention. I can't even mention, but I I describe myself as a talented person as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a gardener. <laughs> I know it's the opposite of the all uh, glam and everything, but I'm uh, I have learned landscape gardening. That was the first thing that I've done after um, after I've studied. And uh, that is also the reason why I love the Seminyak Beach Resort here in Bali so much because I know how hard it is to get everything clean and to do all the work with all the plants and everything. So highly recommended. Thank you so much for the for this beautiful place and the beautiful nature here. <laughs> yeah, I don't have secret uh, talent, but because I think everyone can see me model, singer, and actress, but I don't sing a song about Thai language before. I think everyone in here cannot, uh, cannot, uh, I think everyone in here don't listen and hear before. Can I, can I show? Yes, yes. of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think people in life don't, um, maybe in the fan, don't hear before. โอ้นักจ๋าสีกาขอสั่งน้ำตาไหลหลังก่อนจะจากไปถึงคราวแล้วนอต้องขอลาก่อนต้องเอาจีวรมาห่มกายปฏิมาตรแบบองค์this song named Sika Sangna is a like Thai culture singer song. Thank you so much. Wow, that must have been hard with all the ups and downs. Really impressive. Wow. I can teach you. No? Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll keep you on that one. Um, well, my secret talent is not really a secret. Uh, I'm good at improvising. So give me a microphone, uh, give me a stage with like thousands of people and I can speak. Uh, it's my dream to become a TV host in the future. Um, in the Netherlands, it's like really hard to get there. So if you're watching, this is my audition. Choose me. <laughs> I really wanted to, to do that because uh, also in class with my uh, project group, they're like, oh, Mart, you're, you're going to talk. Come on. We don't want to. Go, go, go. So, yes, I think uh, you need to be talented for that. And I know that I can do that. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I unfortunately don't have a talent that I can physically show you here today. However, I'm actually an ex-tattoo artist. Not that many people Ooh. know that about me. They think beauty queen, tattoo artist, that doesn't go together. However, I absolutely love being creative. I love drawing. I actually used to tattoo a lot of women that have had breast cancer and they had um, reconstruction on their breasts. So I used to empower them and say, do you know what? It doesn't matter. Show your scars. Be proud of who you are. Also as well, lots of people that have sadly suffered with like mental health and they have scars in their body, women who've been through childbirth and they have stretch marks. I was the one that covered it. I was the one that made them feel beautiful. So unfortunately, I can't whip out a tattoo gun here today <laughs> and demonstrate. However, you have to take my word for it and know that I can tattoo. We believe you. Thank you. Do you guys tattoos? Yes. Do you like tattoos, anyone? <laughs> Um, actually, my first major is mechanical engineering, and now uh, my major is applied physics. I love uh, I love to studying semiconductor, and my dream is semiconductor engineer. And I want to make a next generation semiconductor. And <laughs> I love science and math. And uh, actually, when I was uh, young, my dream is actor. So I prepare. Uh, Adding to during two years, so uh, this year I I um um uh, minor role in Korean drama. I yeah <laughs> yes uh, yeah <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay.
thank you. Well, I don't know if this counts as talent, but I love to cook. And oh. before coming here to Indonesia, I was trying to get to know the culture better. And I made a nasi goreng that was delicious. So you guys would have to try my nasi goreng because it was amazing. And then if you want any other dishes, just let me know and I'll do them all. Oh. <laughs> And of course, my talent is eating. So I really want, I really want to try your nasi goreng because I love that food in uh, in Bali. I love nasi goreng. I love uh, beef rendang also. And uh, the thing, the 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 rice with the pork belly one that I drive is so good. I love Balinese food. Yes, thank you all for your sharing, and it's been a uh, uh, very positive and energetic chit chat today i'm very happy because we have some you know positive energy in the last of the day because tomorrow we have uh we're gonna go to jakarta it's our last day in bali and it's um, a very fun and memorable to talk about our you know experience in bali so please stay tuned for our next episode of queen chat with Lise, or maybe next episode, maybe with <laughs> someone else because the queens are gonna come to Jakarta. So please stay tuned first. Bye bye. <laughs>